The Case of Leonardo Cianciulli Leonardo Cianciulli, also known as the soap maker of Correggio, was an Italian serial killer who operated in the early 20th century. Cianciulli is known for killing three women and turning their bodies into soap and tea cakes, which she then gave to unsuspecting friends and acquaintances. Born in Montella, Italy in 1893, Cianciulli had a troubled childhood. Her mother was a superstitious woman who subjected Cianciulli to various rituals and superstitions. Cianciulli was also raped as a teenager, which had a significant impact on her later life. She married at the age of 23 and had four children, one of whom died in infancy. Cianciulli was overprotective of her remaining children, which led to her becoming increasingly paranoid and unstable. In 1939, Cianciulli began her killing spree by befriending three middle-aged women. She convinced each woman to write letters to their relatives, informing them that they were going to visit Cianciulli to find a husband. Cianciulli then drugged each woman with a mixture of chloroform and ether, killed them with an axe, and dismembered their bodies. Cianciulli then boiled the flesh and fat from the bodies, turning them into soap. She also made tea cakes from the women's blood and sold them to her neighbors. Chanchili believed that the soap and tea cakes would bring her good luck and protect her family. Eventually, the disappearances of the women raised suspicion, and Chanchili was arrested. She initially denied the murders but eventually confessed, stating that she had committed the crimes to protect her son from serving in World War II. Chanchili's trial began in 1946, and she was found guilty of three counts of murder. She was sentenced to 30 years in prison and three years in a mental institution. Chanchili was known for her dramatic outbursts during the trial, including fainting spells and screaming fits. Chanchili died in prison on October 15, 1970, at the age of 77. The case of Leonardo Cianciulli is notable for its gruesome nature and for Cianciulli's belief that she was protecting her family through her crimes. It also highlights the impact of trauma and superstition on mental health and behavior. We hope you enjoyed this case overview, presented by Emmy Award-winning Crime Sonics. Be sure to give us a like, leave a comment and subscribe for more content just like this.